Today, we will be discussing the five best Jeremy Lin cards to invest in right now, and we will see how much his best card sold for during the time we now know as Lin Sanity. Jeremy Lin. He is considered by many as the greatest basketball player from Asian heritage since Yao Ming. He shocked the world with Lin Sanity, and every basketball fan that watched him play will always remember when he took the NBA by storm while playing for the Knicks. As his popularity rose, the prices of his cards continued to elevate as well. Quick, before we talk about how the phenomenon that was Lin Sanity piqued interest in Lin sports cards, hit that like button, subscribe, and check out my Instagram account, at Gray's Trading Post. I have many of my sports cards posted for sale on my page, and I do a ton of trading with people as well. So, because NBA games have been postponed, or maybe canceled altogether, many organizations have decided to televise famous games from years prior to entertain those at home while we wait for basketball to resume. The New York Knicks have recently announced that they will be using their television time this week to replay Jeremy Lin's most popular games in their uniform. When asked about this decision, Lin said, quote, I was floored. They have a whole history of footage and games that they can air, and they chose my games. With this in mind, investors and many collectors should know that because of this recent attention to Lin's accomplishments in the NBA, the values of his cards will rise once again. So, if you can find them for good prices now, and then sell them when his popularity is up, and his card values are more expensive, you can unload them for a profit. Which cards should you buy though? Here's a list of the best cards in the market today. First, we have the 2010 Prestige Bonus Points Auto, numbered out of 99. This is one of Lynn's rookie autographs. There were two designs produced for this card, so there are truly 198 available. These cards are worth about $50 right now, and they are great investments for resale soon. Second, here is a 2010 Timeless Treasures Rookie Auto of Lynn. These cards are around the same price as the Prestige Auto when they are numbered out of 299 but this variation has an asking price of $470 because there were only 25 made. A 2010 Panini Limited Next Day Autographs card is the next in line. It is serial number to 99 and it is a premium product. These cards are available for around $600 at the moment graded 9. Here's another valuable Jeremy Lin Rookie Auto from 2010 Panini Threads numbered out of 99. I love the design of these cards. And this is one of my favorite rookie cards of Lynn because it comes from this set. You can buy this for $5,000 on eBay, but it is the only one on this site, so the seller is just taking advantage of the monopoly he has. You should stay away from this card unless you can get it for around $600, as this is its true value. Now here is the best card to invest in to make a significant profit this week during the Lynn Sanity Marathon. Why is this the best card? Because it is still a rookie, but he's in a Knicks uniform. Because of people seeing him in this uniform while the Knicks replay his games this week, this card's value will be higher than any other. This card is a 2011 NBA Hoops Rookie Auto, and it can be bought for around $100 right now. But they will not be available at this price for much longer, so buy these as soon as you can. If you're still hesitant to buy one of these very reasonably priced Jeremy Lin cards, let me show you how this card's price fluctuated due to the Lin Sanity effect in 2012. Only two weeks before Lin Sanity occurred, someone bought this card for $1,000. Trading post tip, this card's numbering is significant because 17 was Lynn's number on the New York Knicks, and the card that has the player's number on it is worth much more than the rest of the cards. One thing the owner of this card did before reselling it was he sent it to Beckett to get graded, and it received a grade of 9.5 out of 10. Grading a card is a must to see a major spike in value. So when this investor finally decided to sell his Jeremy Lynn card, he was able to attain $21,850 for it. Did you hear that? In a matter of two weeks, this man made 20 grand off of one card. And that is a prime example of why you should invest in Jeremy Lin during this replay week of Lin Sanity. Thank you for watching the video. If you like this content and want to see more, hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my Instagram account, at Grace Trading Post. I have many cards for sale or trade on my page. But if you do not see the player that you want, message me, and I will look at what I have and see if I have any cards that you are looking for. Thank you and have a great day.